Okay, on we go. Okay, so you're probably going to have to take your notes out. You want to write some of this down. We're going to, uh, this is the second video on nuclear energy. And uh, for this video, we're going to talk about the different types of radioactive decay. Now, just so it's clear, what I'm talking about is when an atom spontaneously breaks down. So that means there's nothing nothing giving a push. There's, there's no... Um, no outside force. This is just because the atom is unstable anyway, and it just happens to, out of the blue, break up. Uh, so what I want to do is, I, whoops, I want to uh, start off with looking at uh, one type of decay. But let's uh, let's just draw this thing first. So we're gonna we're, what we're gonna start out there is we'll just start with a nucleus, and so the nucleus is gonna have. Let me see, I'm just drawing a few. Um, sorry, wolf. Let me see, draw another one there. I should draw that a little bigger. Uh, we're just drawing a nucleus here. So a nucleus is going to be made up of, let me see, there's that. There we go. Good. Whoops. I should be a little, there, there, there's nothing that's going to be bigger or smaller. And we're talking about um, all the things inside. Woo, that one was big. Let's, let's take that one away. And that, uh, whoops. I don't know. Maybe I must. I'll just, okay, that's better. Okay. So, let's, um, let me see, how should I draw this here? Let's uh, bring it right down. Here we go. So, this is a nucleus, which means I have uh, protons, protons, and neutrons hanging out. And then this is going to suddenly decay. So, notice that when we talk about the atoms, uh, decaying. We're, we're no longer interested in the electrons. We're really only talking about what's happening in the nucleus of the atom. So what happens when it breaks down is that the nucleus is going to split up. And so what's going to happen is that there's going to be an emission. Uh, so you're going to suddenly have flying off of this atom. Uh, you're going to have, uh, uh, basically first you're going to have a gamma ray. Uh, nah, 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 nah. So this is a gamma ray. This is basically, um, if you remember from light, gamma ray is going to be a light ray, a light ray of very high, now think about it, very high frequency, which means it is very, very high energy. Okay, and uh, this is what's kind of interesting for us here. We have very high energy very high frequency gamma ray coming off but that's not the only thing we have one other thing that comes off and uh, let's just kind of bump up my thing here I'm going to have a very specific uh, particle come off it's going to be made up of there's one there's two and then let me draw the next part it's gonna be that whoops wrong color well it doesn't really matter you get the idea and that and that now uh, that's exactly what's going to come off. Now, let's just talk about what's, uh, what is that? What is that? So here we go. We've got the nucleus. It's going to emit. Let's just make sure that what we're saying, this is, this is emitted. In other words, it comes off of this and flies away. We have a gamma ray, a light ray, right? Remember, this is light, right? A light ray flying off. And then we also have this. Now, this is actually called, um, I have a little thing, a alpha particle, alpha particle. So this means um, alpha, an alpha particle. Uh, that's the Greek letter for A. And uh, this has two protons, two neutrons. That's basically what a particle is made out of. It's got, so basically what we're saying here is that when this thing, when this, uh, atom decays it will release a whole bunch of energy in the form of a gamma ray but it will also part of it will fly off two of its part protons and two of its neutrons will uh, fly off now let's just look at what that what that means there let's see here let's um let's what happens to the element? So let's just assume we have some element. Now, I don't know what this is. It's, is it carbon? Is it 
um, uranium? Is it rubidium? I don't know what it is. So we'll just we'll just call the generic E for element. It's an element E. And remember, when we're talking about elements, we're going to put up here uh, when we write it down. We'll call this element one. And we're going to up here. We would have the total number of protons plus the neutrons. And then down here would be the number for the number of protons. Now, hopefully a lot of you have done chemistry and you remember that's how you write any element. Uh, and then what is going to happen after it undergoes decay? So it decays. Let's say if it decays, then what is going to happen? Well, it lost two protons and two neutrons. So let me see if it lost two protons and neutrons it'll be the protons plus neutrons minus well minus two protons minus two that's minus four and then this bottom number here will be proton minus two now let's think about that for a moment i've lost some neutrons though if i lose neutrons that's okay i'm still the same element but if my number down here the proton number is two less what does this tell me this is a brand this is a new element this is a new element this is no longer if this was carbon this is no longer carbon if this is uranium this is not uranium it does not have the same number of protons and we always describe what an element is based upon how many protons it has so i have to call this element number two because i don't know what this is and then i'm going to add another element and what's it going to have well it's going to protons plus neutrons this alpha particle is going to be let me see it's a well it's going to have four four total things on its in its four particles in its nucleus and has two protons wait a minute wait a minute okay oh it also has let me see two protons well i know what that is i can look at my periodic table and i'll realize that wait a minute this is this is helium this alpha particle i should call a helium nucleus now notice what I said helium nucleus helium nucleus right the alpha particle the alpha particle but it has no electrons there's no electrons that came along with this so it's just the nucleus of a helium so if I was going to write this down properly, it has no neutron, it has no electrons, so that means it's two positive protons. This has a po two positive charge. And this is actually what happens. So all of this, all of this is known as, let's just write it up here. This is known as alpha decay. It's called alpha decay because it makes an alpha particle. So alpha decay looks like this. And that is the first one we need to know about. But we've got more to talk about. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so um, let's make our nucleus again. Let's do it again. Okay, so I'm going to just make my big. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to make a, whoops, whoa, maybe not that big. Let's do that. Okay, why not? Okay, so now I'm going to, once again, here's my nucleus. Got a few, uh, whoops, make it a little bigger. Um, once again, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care how many there are. I'm just drawing this just so that we understand what we're doing. Whoops, bigger than that. So we've got my protons, my neutrons, and here I have my nucleus. So let's, uh, let's once again get this right. Here is my nucleus. I might as well give a title to this already. This is actually what's going to be called. This is our next one. This is number two. This is beta decay. So it's going to be a little different. It's going to be a little different from the other one. Because uh, just remember, uh, we have, let me see, I've got a protons. I have neutrons. And uh, so once again, if I had to write this down here, I'm going to say I have an element. And just like the last time, we still have the P plus N and the P, and we're calling it element one. And then it is going to, uh, what's going to happen? Let me see this. Uh, I'm going to look at one of my, this is a neutron. Now, beta decay is a little weird because what happens 
Now this is going to be a little strange, but just think about this now. A neutron turns into a proton. Okay, so let's just, let's just, um, let's think about that. That means this is, this is going to go away, but then instead, and now I'm just going to say this, it doesn't go away. It doesn't fly off. It's still inside the nucleus. I should have drawn that a little closer, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's put it right there. There we go. So that, here, I'll just make it big. It turns into a proton. Now, let's think about this. That means this suddenly, this neutron. Now, neutrons are neutral. They, they have a neutral charge. They don't have any charge. And, but it suddenly now has a positive charge. It suddenly has a positive charge. Now, this is going to sound a little weird. But what happens is that the neutron, in order to get that positive charge, it emits out of it an electron. So it loses some negative charge that's inside of it to be unbalanced and get a positive charge. So what happens is that it's going, I'm going to have an electron over here. Now, how do I draw that electron? Well, um, let's just, I, I don't have a color for electron. Let's, um, I don't know, let's color it ooh, yellow. We'll color it yellow. Okay. So, and it's, and it's small. Ooh, yellow's horrible. Or I'll use, um, what should I use? Orange. I'll use orange because now you can see it. There we go. Electron! And it's going to be uh, negatively charged. So negatively charged. So beta decay, let's just go through it. A neutron turns into a proton and in doing so will emit an electron away from it. That's basically what happens. So let, that's beta decay. What's going to happen? Okay, so I'm going to have my element. Now what has happened? Have the protons and neutrons changed? Well, it's the, nothing is left. So it's still the same number of protons and neutrons. But if you think about it, one of those neutrons now is turned into a proton, which means this lower number is now P plus one. I have suddenly out of the blue gotten a new proton. And as a result now, once again, this is a new element. This is a new element. But not only that, I'm also going to have flying away from it, an electron. And if I was going to write down that one, I would say, well, that's zero protons and neutrons, and it is negative one. That's actually, I'm probably talking about that. What is this thing called? This is known as the beta. It is a beta particle. So I use this little symbol, uh, B. It's the Greek letter for B. Um, now notice, um, just talking about this, just a little mention of here, the electron is, is, is basically, we should just simply say this is a uh, negligible, negligible mass. It's, it's very, very, very small. It hasn't really reduced. A neutron and proton, they generally have roughly the same mass. So when the neutron turns into a proton, bro, proton, proton, uh, this new element has the same mass as E1. It hasn't actually lost any mass. It's a new element, but still, okay, but still new element, new element. But it has the same mass as the old one. It only lost an electron, so nothing really um, crazy happened there. So that's beta decay. That's beta decay. So now what we want to do is we move on to the third one. And this one's called uh, positron. This is a neat word positron positron emission in other words a positron is emitted so what is a positron well i'll get it i'll get to that in just one second so first once again what do we got we got our nucleus nucleus filled with wonderful amounts of protons and neutrons so let's just draw that oh that's that's a good number of oof i'm just i'm loving it protons and neutrons there's my protons. Draw the neutrons now. There we are. Get a bunch of neutrons in there. Some amount. Doesn't have to be the equal amount. It's just there's a there's a bunch in there. It's unstable. And so once again, uh, I'm going to let me see. 
this is an element and just like before got the same thing going on proton plus neutron proton element one and then what is going to happen okay so positron emission what what happens well it's actually quite similar to beta decay uh, it's it's a little it's a little different but what happens oh what did you think was going to happen of course this is going to happen the proton what happens what do you think happens anyone want to guess yes somebody somebody out there i know you i know you said it out loud say it out loud see if you get it when i say it, it proton turns into a neutron that's what happens the proton turns into a neutron so that's kind of interesting well the, the proton's going to suddenly spontaneously turn into a neutron so what what happens as a result now when this happens let's think about this this had a positive charge and now it's neutral so it's as if it lost its positive charge how does that work first off proton let's just say it here proton turns into uh, a no, I should write that better or sorry let me do that again turns into a neutron and then what happens the neutron will emit now you're thinking what the hell does it emit because it can't emit a um i should say emits emits a positron now what is what the hell is a positron you might be asking Perhaps you have not done very much particle physics and you have never heard of that word. Maybe they don't tell you in chemistry. I don't know. I don't know what they tell you in chemistry. But basically, this is a positively charged electron. Positively charged electron. So I'm going to color it. Uh, I'm going to color it orange again. Let me see. So there it is. It's a very small particle. And it is a positively. So positron is a positively. I'll write it in orange. Why not? positively charged electron it's a positron that's what they are it's one of the things that we have so basically um, the change happens here I get this sudden burst of a uh, positron flying off and uh, hooray so what uh, what does this look like okay let's just think so once this happens my element now has once again just like beta decay the same number of protons and neutrons but now in this case one of my protons has turned into a neutron so I have one less proton in this whole thing so once again once again same mass different element it's almost exactly like beta decay with the exception that now I have something called a but I still use the symbol for electron it has zero but instead of negative one it is positive one down here I have um, a positive charge to this thing. This is my positron right here. And that's positron emission. Now there is one last uh, type of decay that I want to talk about, but it's a little uh, trickier uh, because it's not really, I, I, it's difficult to call it a separate type of decay. There really is kind of just three. Um, but I want to look at alpha decay one more time because alpha decay is, is the production of the alpha particle. But as I mentioned, there is something else that happens, and that's the fact that we have a gamma ray coming out. Um, and this, uh, to some people, would be considered something separate. And so if we're really going to talk about the different types of decay that take place, I should erase this we have to include that as almost separate and we should say the fourth type is what's known as gamma decay gamma has that symbol that's the symbol for uh, i guess a g you could say uh, sometimes it has this little comes down a little bit uh, it doesn't really matter too much as long as you draw it somewhat like that but any so let's just simply say this any uh, rearrangement rearrangement uh, of a nucleus of a nucleus so that means uh, alpha beta uh, positron 
decay, any of those results in a, in a rearrangement of the nucleus. So for any of these, uh, as long as it uh, results, now here's the tricky part, results in a change of mass. Now, did these create a change of mass? Not always. Now, uh, so we have to be careful about that. If there was a change of mass, we get we get a emission. Or I should say an an emission of a high energy gamma ray. Gamma ray. So you're always going to see that. It might look like that, but some, usually we you see it drawn like this, also like little a little wavy line. And why do we show it as a wavy line? Well, yeah, you remember light is a wave, and so it makes more sense to draw it like this and say, "Remember, we're talking about a light wave. That's what we're trying to look at." Okay. So I'm going to uh, maybe stop there. there. There's one more thing I'm going to talk about just before we finish off. It's just the the last thing to think about, uh, because these are uh, four different four different types of decay, really. Um, we have, let's just look at this for a minute. We have alpha, uh, which is the, let me see, I'll just draw it really small. I got my, there's my alpha, my big alpha. Alpha makes a really big particle, bigger than all the other ones. Um, I also have the, uh, uh, the beta decay, beta decay, which is just little, Oops, I should have drawn that orange, just like I said I would. There's my orange beta decay with a little electron. Um, or uh, I'm not going to talk about positron. I want to talk about gamma also, though. Gamma, which was, like I said, looks like this. And I want to talk about how uh, dangerous some of these things are. Now, let's say that uh, a atom has decayed, and now we have these particles rushing towards you and you're like no I don't want to get hit by these things and so bravely you put up um, one single sheet of tissue paper that you have close by you take out a piece of tissue paper and you go please protect me from this and so what happens um, I really should draw this gamma ray not as a straight line but as a current here I'm just I gotta I'm gonna keep going like this no 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 okay so what happens? Well, the gamma ray says, yeah, right, and keeps moving, uh, keeps moving through. Uh, the beta, blammo, right through the tissue paper. You're doomed. But here's what's kind of amazing. The, um, the alpha particle gets stopped by the tissue paper. It's too big. It actually gets stopped by something as flimsy as tissue paper. You go, whew, no more alpha particles hurting me. Um, but there's still beta and, um, gamma rays coming at you so you go no i'm going to stop it with a sheet let's let's bump it up now we're going to give ourselves a piece of aluminum we're going to give us a piece of aluminum that's pretty thick what's going to happen so boom beta gets stopped yes but wait gamma ray flies through it like it wasn't there and you go oh oh my god okay what can i do so you stick a giant piece of concrete. There's a lot of people in the 1950s who were like, listen, in a nuclear war and all those gamma rays are flying at you, uh, just just get a bunch of uh, thick concrete. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. And actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. You are so doomed. Uh, it will move right through concrete, not even be bothered by it at all. There actually is, um, you need a certain substance Perhaps you know what this is. Does anybody know what this is? Um, for example, if you're going to get your x-ray, you need to make sure, and the doctors really want to make sure, that the room is lined. All the walls in an x-ray room are lined with this substance uh, because it will stop. It will stop the um, the gamma ray from killing you. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, not killing you. You are getting gamma rays uh, thrown through you with the x-rays. They are going through your body. But a doctor who is doing x-rays all day, every day of the week, would have too many gamma rays hitting them. They would get cancer and die. 
if it wasn't for the fact that they aren't getting exposed every time uh, a person comes in because the room is covered in lead. Lead actually is uh, has a, uh, a physical structure that protects you from the gamma rays and stops those light rays from passing through. So kind of an interesting little thing I wanted to throw in there at the very end, just so you had an idea about the strength of some of these things. So remember, gamma ray is a high energy light ray and you really can't stop it with very much. Uh, the, the energy is too high, the, the wavelength is too small. You just really can't stop it. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. But what I want to talk about next uh, video is, okay, uh, these are the particles. Uh, this is the decay. Uh, what exactly is decay? Like how often does it happen? And how much energy do we get? Like, like can we really create a huge amount of energy by doing this? Uh, we'll see in a little bit. Okay, see ya.